of you who don't know what it means is what my grandmother used to say to me when I wanted to go somewhere and it was a seemingly 
Oh, seemingly. Sorry, German English, German English. It was a hard destination to get to. And my grandma used to say, child, woo, that is way over yonder. And I said, Grandma, what does it mean? Yonder, honey, that's a way you got, you need to get on your walking shoes to get there, baby. So yonder is a place that I wanted to break through because what does it feel like when you're a little child and you know that in your heart of hearts that you want, you want to sing? You really, really, really want to sing. You know that somebody has stamped it inside your soul that you want to sing, but there are people around in your surroundings that tell you, no, you're too fat. You're too ugly. Your scar is ugly. Your voice is not good. No, never, never. What do you do? What do you do? And you know, when I was a little girl, and this is really the honest to God truth, when the other kids would go outside for recess, you know what recess is, right? It's when you have that, uh, in German you say pause, yeah? Okay, just, just so you know. And so, and, we'd have, and they'd have recess, and I would go back into the classroom, and I would spin that globe. How many of you have ever done that? You like spin it, the globe, and then you put your finger on it, and you go, oh, I'm going to China. Oh, I'm going to London. Oh, I'm going to Israel. Oh, I'm going to South America. Oh, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. And it was like Mama Universe took notes and she left them in the universe for me. Now, I didn't know how I was going to get there, but I knew it had something to do with my voice. So what do you do? What do you do when somebody tells you no? No, you can't. No, you're not good enough. No, you're too fat. No, no, no. But you know what's really strange? Inside my voice, on my left side, I heard continuously a whisper. When somebody said, no, you're not good enough, on this side, in my heart, I always heard, doch, doch. <laughs> and... For those of you who don't know what doch doch is, it means I beg to differ. So I would hear, no, you can't do it. Doch doch. No, you're not going to make it. Doch doch. But you know what? I got my courage together and I went from my childhood home to New Orleans. And from New Orleans, my first breakthrough was to come to Germany. Oh, Germany. Bayern of all places and I'm here and I made it and I'm having fun with it and what happens is, is I decide to really take my voice seriously so I get a few great teachers my first teacher used to say oh girl you got them Sarah Vaughn tones because I used to sit next to the stereo and listen to Sarah Vaughan and Dakota Staten and Ella Fitzgerald and even James Brown and even musicals like The King and I and West Side Story. I listened to them all because I used to dream about going way over yonder. So when I met my teacher and he said, oh girl, baby, you got them Sarah Vaughan tones. Sarah Vaughan would go real low here, my funny guns teeth, yeah, really low. And then she'd go way high, high. those Sarah Vaughan tones, yeah. So she, I got that, and I started studying, and I started learning, and before you know it. I had gotten all these great jobs. You know, with what you do when you become a singer, you do the galas and the clubs and all this good stuff. And it was fun. And I was getting courage and I was becoming positive and I was getting good feedback. But have you ever started to do something and all of a sudden you realize, even though it's sort of like your dream, it's still not enough? Do you know what I'm talking about? It's like, mm, something's still missing. And so I talked to Mama Universe about it, and I said, this can't be all there is. I love singing. I love using my voice. I love playing. I love being on stage. But there's got to be more than this. 
Where is it? What am I doing? What's, where, how do I get through? How do I get through? And then she kind of whispered, well, baby, why don't you go out on the business side of things? You leave all those clubs and all that stuff, you leave that alone. And you go on out there and you start hanging out with leaders and executives and start playing with those folks with your voice. Now, what do you think some of my German friends said when I said, you know what, I'm going to start getting German managers and leaders to sing with me. No way. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to start it. I'm going to start working with them and I'm going to get them to play with me. Really? No way. What did they say in German? Niemals! But I always heard, again, doch, doch. Doch, doch. So I started with my ladies group and I had fun and we played and we exchanged and I said, you show me your voice and I'll show you mine. You show me your voice and I'll show you mine. And we had fun and then I went from one manager to another manager to another manager to another manager and then guess what? You see this hand? This is the hand of not being perfect. This was taken when I was in kindergarten and this reminds me each and every day, it's not about being perfect, is it? Your breakthrough has to have passion. You gotta giggle inside, you gotta laugh, you gotta have fun, you gotta go ah! At least twice a day, okay? At least twice a day. So let's, I went from this young soul of being unhappy and looking to find my way to this being invited to sing at the Bayerische Filmphonica Orchestra with 80 people and do you know what all 80 of them prayed with me before we went on stage how cool is that pretty cool huh and that's me having fun that's me don't you see me having fun I'm having a blast. You gotta get through your breakthrough. So that means if somebody is trying to tell you, no, you can't, listen to that voice that goes, doch, doch. When somebody, even your parents, your teachers, and you've got this great idea and it's tickling you on the inside and somebody says, well, I don't really think that's a really a good idea. Listen to your, that's right. And when somebody says, oh, I don't know, you better, you better just leave that alone and, you know, just move on and come up with another idea. I don't think this is right for you. You listen to your left hand side and it says, that's right, honey. This is me playing with the executives now. I'm loving it. I love my job. I love it, love it, love it. And this is me. Don't you see me having fun? Don't you see me having fun? Don't you see me having fun? I love this. This is what it is. So you know what I discovered? I'm a nurse for the voice. I'd like to take that band-aid off. I'd like to look inside. I'd like to look in there and say, okay, show me this and show me that and show me this. And once we get it, and once we start playing together, and once we start loving our voices and enjoying it, then not only have I had my breakthrough, but you've had yours too. So, you know what I was thinking? I'm in Bonn. Let's see what the people, what their voices sound like in Bonn. Should we do it? Should we do, oh, that's me playing. Oh, that's me playing. Look at me having so much fun. And then, oh, oh wait, I, I skipped one. Look at me playing. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy. So let's just, let's do Doch Doch together. If you feel like singing this, we can do it together. I used to think that I could not go on. Life was nothing but an awful song. Of true love 
just believe it. There's nothing to Do you believe you can fly? Yeah. Do you believe you can fly? Yeah. 